something strange is happening to 3i Atlas. For months, astronomers tracked its path. Cold, predictable, a clean arc through the solar system. But the latest data say otherwise. The dust cloud doesn't align the way it should. The chemistry doesn't match any comet we know. And now, its course appears to have shifted. Not enough to collide, not enough to panic, but just enough to make no sense. Why 3i Atlas just changed course remains the question no one can answer. They said the path was fixed, a line written by gravity, an equation too simple to question. But the latest observations tell a different story. 3i Atlas is not behaving like it should. When astronomers process the newest images, they notice something subtle. The coma, that fragile envelope of gas and dust, wasn't aligned with the sun. Instead of streaming away in a predictable tail, it spread sideways, even forward, as if the comet was resisting the rules. At first, they thought it was an error, a trick of light, a glitch in the filter, but the data held steady. Multiple telescopes, multiple nights, the same result. 3i Atlas was ejecting material in directions that made no sense, not just the usual burst away from heat, but a flare toward the sun itself, as if the nucleus had ruptured in ways we've never seen. This is where the language begins to bend. Some called it a change in trajectory. Headlines whispered about a comet that had shifted course. The truth is stranger, because on paper, the gravity still holds. The arc across the solar system is unchanged, but the fine details, the dust, the gas, the orientation of the coma, they don't line up with the mathematics. It is as if the body is pulled by something else or pushing itself in a way we can't yet measure. And then came the chemistry. Spectral data revealed something that shouldn't be there. Strong emissions of cyanide, strong emissions of nickel, but no iron. Nickel without iron, almost impossible in nature, but not in industry, not in machines. Astronomers rushed to explain. Iron is heavier, they said. It clings to the ice longer, releasing only near the sun. Perhaps the instruments weren't sensitive enough to detect the faint lines of iron hiding in the coma. Maybe it's there, too faint to see. Maybe, or maybe not, because the numbers don't settle. Even as 3i Atlas approached, the nickel signature grew stronger, while the iron remained silent. So now we're left with two anomalies, a trajectory that doesn't match the dust, and a chemistry that doesn't match the rules. And still, 3i Atlas moves on, silent, steady, fast. It will never stop. It will never return. We only have these brief months to see it, to measure it, to try to understand. And yet, the more we watch, the less it makes sense. Astronomers describe it carefully in papers and telegrams. Words like non-gravitational activity. Words like sublimation anomaly. But outside those circles, the message spreads in another way. That 3i atlas has changed course. And once an idea like that takes root, it never lets go. Because if a comet can change its path, what does that mean? If an interstellar object can bend against the pull of the sun, what is driving it? What force, or what hand, guides its drift? The silence of space gives no answer, only a question that grows louder. Why 3i Atlas just changed course? There is something else about 3i Atlas, something more troubling than its strange dust, its speed. When astronomers traced its path backward, they expected clarity. Stars leave fingerprints, gravitational slingshots, quiet encounters across millions of years. Every interstellar traveler carries a map of where it has been. So they pulled the thread. Using Gaia's stellar catalog, they rewound its orbit 10 million years. 10 million years of drifting through the dark. And what they found was silence. Yes, there were encounters, 62 in total. Moments when 3i Atlas brushed close to nearby stars but none of them made sense. The closest, 72,000 years ago, with a star cataloged as Gaia DR3-264, a near pass, a gravitational tug, but far too weak to explain what we see now, because the speed of 3i Atlas is wrong, too high, too sharp, as if it was already accelerated long before we ever noticed it. No star in the last 10 million years gave it this energy. No known mechanism explains why it moves the way it does, so the question grows darker. Where did this speed come from? What pushed it? What ignited the momentum that carries it past our sun? Some whisper that it must be older than we imagined, 
older than us, older than the solar system itself. Estimates place its age between 7 and 11 billion years, a body twice as old as our sun, drifting since before Earth even existed, a survivor from another epoch of the galaxy. And yet, if it is that old, why does it look so alive? Why does it shed gas, shift color, bleed nickel without iron? Why does it move like something not just ancient, but deliberate? The stars don't explain it. The models don't explain it. Even time itself offers no answer, which leaves us with a silence more powerful than any discovery. Because if no natural process accounts for its speed, then we are staring at momentum without a cause, motion without origin, and impossible speed and impossible things tend to change us. There is a date marked on the calendar, October 2025, when 3i Atlas will pass close to Mars. Not dangerously close, not enough to strike, but close enough to disturb us. Because Mars is not just another planet, it is the mirror we hold to ourselves, the world we study for traces of life, the world we dream of as our next home. And now, an interstellar visitor will drift past it, not Earth, not Jupiter, Mars. A coincidence, they say. Just another line, cut by gravity. But the timing is hard to ignore. Just as we whisper about fossils in Martian rocks. Just as rovers scrape the soil for signs of ancient microbes. 3. I Atlas appears, cutting through the same orbit, passing the very world we see as the second home of humankind. The odds were never meant to line up this way. The path of 3. I Atlas threads Venus, then Mars, then Jupiter. A sequence with one chance in 20,000 and Mars is the centerpiece. For centuries, we have searched its deserts, imagined canals, invented civilizations, sent machines to crawl across its dust, always asking, are we alone? Now imagine the question reversed, not us looking at Mars, but something else looking at us. If you were an ancient traveler, where would you search? Not the frozen moons, not the empty belts. You would look to Earth and to the neighbor that also lies in the habitable zone, Mars. That is exactly where 3i Atlas is heading. Coincidence or reconnaissance? Astronomers insist this is random, a trajectory carved by gravity. But even they admit the dust is strange, the chemistry is strange, the speed is strange. So how many anomalies can we dismiss before the word coincidence begins to crack? When 3i Atlas swings past Mars, telescopes will be waiting from the ground, from orbit, from the rovers themselves every eye searching for fragments of truth. We may see nothing unusual, just dust, gas, a fractured tail glowing green. But we may also see a message written in motion, a reminder that the void is not empty. Because even if it is only ice, only rock, the timing remains impossible to ignore. Mars is where we search for life. Mars is where we plan to walk. And in the same breath, 3i Atlas arrives, not by invitation, not by plan, but still by design perhaps not ours. And that is why this moment matters. Because for the first time, we are not the only ones passing Mars. Something older, something faster, something that doesn't follow the rules. So we wait for October, for the drift, for the silence to speak. And maybe it never will. Maybe silence is the message. Maybe the drift is the answer. Until then, we live with unease. The unease of knowing that an object from beyond the stars will skim the horizon of the world that mirrors us. A world that could hold our past. A world that could hold our future. When it happens, there will be no sound, no warning, only a shadow across the void. And the question that lingers long after, why 3i Atlas just changed course. The story of 3i Atlas is not finished. Its path is still unfolding. Its secret still hidden in the dust. We call it a comet. We call it a fragment. But the truth is, we don't know what it is. We only know what it isn't. It isn't simple. It isn't predictable. It isn't silent in the way we expect it. And as it moves on, leaving us behind, we are left with a choice. To see it as chance, or to see it as a question. A question written in motion. A question older than our sun. Why did it shift? Why here? Why now? We may never know, but the unease will stay with us. The sense that the void is not empty that the silence is watching. And maybe that's why we tell these stories. Because in the end, the only way to face the darkness is together. So if this drift unsettled you, leave a trace, a like, a comment, a mark that says you were here, watching with us. And if you want to walk further into the unknown, subscribe. This is only the beginning. 
The cosmos is full of questions waiting to be asked. For now, we wait for October, for Mars, for whatever 3i Atlas really is. The silence continues and the drift never ends. <laughs>